Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your mindfulness mentor, Sherelle Alicia. Thank you again for joining me in this safe place as we become more mindful together. Thank you guys also for your patience. I had a little bit of technical difficulties with the last few videos, but I'm happy to see you again. Crystal clear. So today's video is going to be about success and failure. Last week we got into self-awareness and what those things mean to us, where we are, how far we've come, uh, knowing our strengths and our weaknesses. Now we're going to get into success and failure. So my question is, how do you define your success? Most of society would define it as accomplishing a goal or the latest, especially with the growth of social media, money, cars, <laughs> girls, guys, whatever, bags, you name it. As for me, my idea of success has a lot to do with money, of course, because <laughs> We all need a little bit of money to do the things that we like to do. Some of us, depending on our personal goals, we want a lot of money. But for me, what's most important is my peace of mind. It took me a very long time to come to that level of understanding. But now that I have arrived, I'm also in a position where I know what I need to do in order to maintain my success or become more successful. Because we all know there's no such thing as success and just getting there and, and that's it. But you can always be a little bit more successful at what you do or add some extra things to your belt. Now, even with adding some of those things to our belt or understanding our idea of success or even become more successful, we have those things that we see often as failures. Well, Webster defines failure as a goal that is not reached or lack of effort. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you're defining your success. Are you really doing everything it takes to become successful? I personally don't really care for the Webster definition. It doesn't really sound very mindful. <laughs> like to see what others see as failure as experience because that's where you learn that's where you learn what works and what didn't work what you could tweak to become more successful or maybe you need to utilize your resources right this is when we would delegate or pay someone to help us pay an expert right so let's say that there are no failures. The most important thing here is that you know what your idea of success is. Tonight, I challenge you, until we meet again, to define what that means to you. How do you define your success? You don't have to utilize the version of success that your parents gave you. You don't have to Compare yourself to others. Remember, we are in self-awareness and self-acceptance. Sometimes my success looks like sitting in the middle of the rainforest, listening to the cicadas, as long as they don't bother me. And sometimes it includes lots of luxe activities with my friends. So understanding what that means to you is what's most important. So tonight, grab a pen. Write it out. What does success look like for you? You'll need it for where we're about to go. And if you followed me through all the videos prior to this, you should have a really good understanding of what that looks like. Or you should at least be much closer than where you were before. Know always, your mindfulness mentor is here to guide you along the way. So if you need me, I'm here. Until next time, thank you for joining me in this safe place where we become more mindful together. I love you.